drive to right. Takes a three. Touchdown, 49ers. Hurry! Well, I remember the uh, the floodgates opened up because he had been really struggling before that game. And, um, you know, he is a few times uh, since I've been here, he's started out slowly in the season. And, and then, obviously, you know, he always turns it around. But that was the game that sort of opened everything up for him. And then the other... Um, the other thought, well, I had a couple thoughts. Um, one, one thing that got lost was Alfonso McKinney had a career high in front of his whole family, you know, down the street from his house, basically, um, which was a great thrill for, for uh, Zoe and for his family. And, uh, and then I also remember Clay's 14-3 was very uncomfortable. You know, we had a big lead, I think, late third, and... Um, he was searching. He he was launching. His teammates all wanted him to get it. It's one of those uncomfortable moments as a coach where you want your player to get a record, but you don't want to do the wrong thing. Uh, you know, kind of karma wise. And it was it was a little dicey. And I uh, texted Fred Weiberg after the game, and he was great. But it was, it was just a little. I was relieved when when Clay made the the last one, and we took him out, and we could move on. But. Um, just a, yet another incredible shooting night from Clay, um, of which there have been many. Do you remember the seventh thing uh, I don't remember. Um, you know, he got the game ball when uh, when the game was over, and then we had a team dinner afterwards, and he walked into the dinner with the game ball. So I found that interesting. Steve, speaking of Clay, um, you've done your share of TV work over time. Uh, will you? Tomorrow, or when you get a chance, go back and see how he did during his gig as a, a sideline reporter. I'll ask. Uh, I'll ask Raymond for the uh, the update. I do remember the first time I had to do, maybe the only time. Also, uh, I had to do a sideline interview when I was working at TNT. Um, Cheryl Miller couldn't make the game. I think she was sick, and so they had me run over. We were in Portland. I think I was interviewing Vinny Del Negro, and I had to ask him, you know, what other, whatever dull question is asked at the end of the quarter, you know, you're getting beat on the glass, what do you do to fix that, whatever, one of those questions. And I'm holding the mic, but I'm so uncomfortable that I ask him the question, and then I kept holding the mic like this. I said, what do you think you have to do? And he starts answering, and he's over here, and I'm nodding, and the mic is still right here, and the producer's in my ear going, hold the mic in front of Vinny. <laughs> And uh, I was not asked to do that again, so <laughs> not surprising. Clay, Clay will definitely be better than me. More entertaining, for sure. <laughs> Mine was unintentional comedy, I think.